everyone. That time once again. So glad you could join us today. Got an interesting indie zombie horror comedy for you in the form of Cholo Zombies Monstro. Uh, Cholo Zombies Monstro is directed uh, by Eric Rafael Ibarra and uh, Mark Newton. And we have a story of uh, vamps who resurrects her husband Monstro. And uh, yeah, and when she resurrects him because she loves him and uh, they, you know, they end up wanting to get, have a family and uh, we see the struggles Monstro has trying to provide for his family. His wife is a bit uh, higher maintenance and he just, he, he wants to try to do the best, but it's hard to do that in a society that looks down upon zombies and doesn't want to give them the opportunities uh, that they deserve. It doesn't help that there's a rogue band of zombies out there making life difficult for everybody, zombie or human, as uh, they are trying to make a stand and get people to recognize the fact that they basically have no rights and they deserve some. Meanwhile, Monstro is also dealing with the fact that Vamps isn't happy with him and she wants a better life for herself and her kid. And uh, yeah, they end up having some uh, domestic issues as well. And all of this gets mixed up together in a huge blender in uh, Monstro, uh, Cholo Zombies. Uh, <laughs> I enjoyed a lot about this film. I like the world that they built in. This is yet another indie film that's covering the idea that zombies are getting integrated into society. It's part of uh, the culture rather than them being just uh, the mindless creatures that go about killing people. Although you do get uh, the zombies giving in to uh, their carnal urges of chewing on live people. Uh, we do still have that in here. So there is that threat from them, but most of the zombies are trying to subdue that and just get on with life. And I loved that angle with that. And that really comes through the Monstro character, played wonderfully by Vince Romo. This guy is just, he's trying to do the best he can. Uh, but Vamps, his wife, played by Loretta Vamps, uh, fantastically, she just, she, she not getting what she really wants from Monstro. And, you know, as she's visiting some other guys and such, and she just, it, it's not helping Monstro at all and he, he doesn't help himself either with some of the things that he tries to pull. Uh, Lilith Vamps plays a monstra, a monstro's daughter and uh, I liked I liked her quite a bit, her character. Uh, she uh, uh, played it well. She wasn't an annoying kid and had a lot of uh, uh, great uh, comfortability with uh, both uh, Vince and Loretta. So yeah, this family dynamic felt like a family dynamic uh, that's having troubles. And yeah, the makeup effects I thought were really good. There are some great jokes in here, especially when Monstro is going to therapy and the people he meets in therapy. And then when we get to this whole situation that's involving a, uh, uh, you know, an amusement park and zombies taking that over. We get some actually scary individuals who are zombies and uh, an unlikely pair up with a sheriff. And uh, there's all kinds of crazy stuff that's going on in this film. I think the only thing that got me was that it may have gone a bit too long. You know, I, I know it's not a long film, but we got the idea and the gimmick. And I, I think it maybe just went just a little too long. It could have been trimmed up a bit, uh, but it is a very amusing, interesting zombie film that if you're looking for something different in your films of the undead, well, uh, then you're gonna wanna check out Cholo Zombies Monstro. It is a sequel to Cholo Zombies, by the way, but you don't have to see the first film to follow what's going on in this movie. And I love when sequels do that as well, to where they do add to the storyline, but they also can stand on their own. And that's what this this one does. So thank you very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, all that bells and whistles. Trying to get to 3k or more subs by the end of 2024. Can only do that with your help. And until next time, remember, keep that ticket stub.